regards to my, my, uh, my environment minister, I have tremendous faith and confidence uh, in my environment minister. Uh, and if, you know, if people are having a trouble getting along with them, maybe they need to look at their own uh, approach to uh, these big issues as opposed to uh, looking at what he's talking about, which is uh, consistent with building a better future for everyone. Well, I think he knows that um, that Minister Gibbo is not my favorite minister, but I, I did let him know that I have a great relationship with uh, several of his other ministers. But I, I did feel like I should tell him in person what I've been saying publicly, just so that he there wasn't any miscommunication on that. I do, I do feel like our relationship would be greatly improved if we had a different point person in that file who was a little more pragmatic and someone who was willing to work with us, like some of the other ministers are. Well, it's you know admirable that he's defending that member of his team, but I. I think that the reality is somewhat different. We've got a, an environment minister who's lost in court on the Impact Assessment Act, and rather than accept that, seems to be trying to find a workaround on it. Lost on plastics, rather than accept that, is appealing it. We went to COP, didn't tell any of the delegations there what he was going to announce there, uh, dropped a, a, a bomb on us on an emissions cap for oil and gas, emissions cap for methane, and um, has you know basically uh, announced that he doesn't want to build any more roads anymore, which he had to walk back. So I, I would say that the evidence demonstrates that there's a, an environment minister who has been given a, a pretty free reign to trample the Constitution and interfere with national unity and also interfere with investment. And so I would say that we are responding to the fact that we have a, an environment minister that is that is not following the rules. And I'm, I'm going to keep pushing back against that. I, I will work with the ministers that I can and hopefully find a workaround. But it would be a lot more constructive a relationship if we actually had somebody who was, who was pragmatic on the other side of the table.